5K racers at the Huntsman World Senior Games met underneath a St. George overpass at Confluence Park Wednesday, readying for the race. Among them was longtime runner Stan Davis, a 20-year competitor at the Senior Games. Okay, so my dad, he's had Alzheimer's for 12 years, and he's raced for 12 years with it, and today he is running um, a 5K, his last, and it's his 20th year at the Huntsman World Senior Games, and he talked so many people into racing. He loves the racing community. He loved competing against all of you, and um, his staff is here. He trained with a 15-pound pack on, and um, wow. he is ready to go, and he's running with my sister, and they started running together and got our whole family back in 1982 going, and so she's gonna help bring him home on that. Yeah, we're gonna run together, huh? <laughs> gonna be great. I'm excited to be the one. Yeah, baby! <laughs> hey, Stan, you are the man. Stan and I have been married for 59 years, and we've raced together for over 35, 40 years, and we're gonna do this race together also, aren't we? And you're pretty happy about it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I can tell. <laughs> I think that deserves a kiss. And Stephanie <laughs> told you everything else. You needed to know. How about a kiss? <laughs> Others were also here to challenge their own skills and have fun in the sun for the first time. Oh, I'm really excited for the race. Uh, just because it's so much fun to be here. And the incredible part is how many people come and participate in the games. So I get to say, I'm one of them. <laughs> and I love hearing their stories. I love to hear how they've overcome obstacles or how they've just barely started running and it's changed their lives. And, and the senior games as a whole is like that as well. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> As the air horn blew, runners began their trek along the park trail, hoping to do their best. Out and back, make sure you stay to the right. Stay on the right, just like you're driving your car. Among them was Stan Davis, cheered on by his supporters. Volunteers along the pathway kept track of runners. Oh, you're a sweeper? Yeah. What's a sweeper? A sweeper makes sure that somebody cleans up the end of the race and makes sure that, that there's nobody else on the trail. And we're inputting the times of the, actually the numbers of the runners so that as they cross the finish line within another minute or less, uh, the announcer will know the name to go along with that. And you are a fast typer? My wife is. I'm her backup. <laughs> Woohoo! There she is. The crowd of onlookers cheered and waited patiently for their own athletes to come through. Whether this is the first year or more, these senior athletes say they love this race. And why do you do this? I've been doing it since high school, and it's like, I'm still not fulfilled yet. And no matter what their age or experience level, these athletes love what they do. I turned 80 this year, so it makes me a spring chicken in the next age group, the 80 to 84 year olds. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what age you are, everybody is your good friend down here. <laughs> and the, the friendship is just unbelievable. And the last one to cross the finish line in a little more than an hour was Stan. Davis was supported by his family, friends, and his caregivers as he attempted to cross one last finish line in the 5K race. As he sat at the end of the race, taking it all in, he made a very clear comment. I love it. <laughs> Look at this entire crowd over here to celebrate one, one man's achievements over the years and all the running that he's done. He's inspired his family to run and now he's inspiring 
this whole crowd. So it's a great event. Stan's daughter is married to our son. And he just passed away last year. So it's been fun running with Stan. Stan usually runs, wins these races. And as an avid runner, Flo has her own personal reasons for competing as well. Do you know, I had six kids and I decided I needed to start running. I, I ran the Olympic torch. I have ran Boston in a 317. When I was 42, I'm 84, so a few years ago. Um, I just love to run. I run every morning, six miles Monday, Wednesday, Friday, five miles Tuesday, Thursday. And I'm a runner. Proud of this late young lady? Are you kidding me? She's wonderful. Really proud of her. Hard to keep up with her, but proud of her. And those who ran today say this is one race that is well worth the movement. Yeah, your own health is your best trophy.